So I'm going to do a packing video. I didn't do one for the Wicked Away and I did get asked by a few people about kind of hiking gear, what we brought, uh, what we, sh you know, wish we hadn't brought or what we wish we had brought. Um, and anybody that's watched the videos will know that we had serious issues with sleeping bags, with boots leaking and with food being way too heavy. Our bags were crazy heavy. I think they were, mine was 15 or 16 kilos. Um, Niall had about 20 on his back the first day and Mam had like 13. So it's just too much weight. So we've changed up a few things for this one. Um, the bag I'm using is the same as before. It's the Ren 50, the Osprey one. So it's 50 litres. Um, I found this really good. It has the, um, the netting on the back. So it keeps the back, uh, the bag off your back, which I found really good because it stops that the heat building up, I suppose, and that pressure on your back. Um, I had no issues with this bag at all. I found it brilliant. Um, Mam used a decathlon bag, another 50 litre one, which she did have some issues with. It doesn't have this um, guard here. And she had issues with how it sat on her back the first couple of days, but her bag is much lighter this time. I think we have it at about eight kilos. So that's pretty good for her. Mine's a little bit heavier because a couple more bits though obviously because the three was going we don't need to carry three um you know cook kits we don't need to carry three stoves we need to carry three um blister bags medicine bags so we're able to kind of disperse the weight of it which is great uh so yeah let's start we're gonna obviously the stuff that's gonna go in the bottom the very bottom are the food uh the food bags for saturday sunday monday the food's downstairs, I'm going to do a separate video on, on our food because um, we've changed a lot with that as well. Um, so I'm going to pack the bag, but obviously I'll probably repack it and put the food at the bottom. But what's going to go at the bottom, first of all, are my clothes. I'm going to show you how we use the, the what are they called? Stuff sacks. Um, kind of what clothes I'm bringing and then all the other little bits so you know it's kind of clothes sleep system tent or food clothes sleep system tent this is how I found it's, it's worked well because when you get to camp tent comes out goes up sleep sleep pad sleeping bag comes out goes up and then you can take your clothes out and then obviously your food for the for the next day the the, the food bag for that day kind of stays on the top in case I need to get in and out of it um, and then I like to keep the cook we're close to the top as well for when we're having lunch. So I'm gonna start with clothes. Um, so what I'm bringing, good rain jacket. This was a lifesaver when we were on the Wicklow Way because again, if you saw the videos, it rained pretty much every day. Um, this is again, decathlon one, wasn't expensive at all. I think it was like 12 quid or something, but it never actually, it, it held it the rain. And everything goes in, so first, like I do put in a um, plastic bag into the actual, uh, to, uh, like a liner. I don't have um, a bag, you can get bag liners, you can get them for like, if you get a very, very big one, I know my brother has one, he, you can get them for about 40 or 50 euro. I'm just been using thin bags for now, it'll do. They do get a bit torn after a while, you're putting taking them in and out, but like for three days I think we're fine with it. So that goes in because the last thing you want is wet gear. Wet gear means you'll probably have to go home. And we don't want that, so that goes into line it. Um, the clothes I'm bringing, I'm gonna what I have on. It's what I'm wearing. Uh, tomorrow, the first day. These leggings are from Little. They were like that about I don't know, thirteen or fourteen euros. They're very good. They're hiking trousers. They do have a little pocket for your phone, which I enjoy because I did. It's coming here. Got sticks in your hands and um. You know, you're trying to take your phone out to take a picture or take a video. It's just a little bit annoying when it's in the pocket. So I have those. Um, my hiking socks as well. I'm going to bring a couple of pairs of hiking socks and my fleece. Now, I probably won't hike in this because it is quite warm, but I want it for camp because it's getting dark at half seven. We're going to be in camp for a few hours eating and um, winding down before we go to bed. So I do want something good and warm to put on me. So I'll be bringing this and then I have a, just a T-shirt. So clothes wise. These are my sleeping clothes. These are my, my two sleeping things, just warm leggings. I don't have any merino wool or anything like that yet, but just warm leggings, long sleeve top, and good woolly warm socks. Now again, they're a bit bulky. I don't mind these are some of the warmest socks I've ever I've ever had. They're called heat holders. 
um, and we had really cold feet the last time and it's actually quite hard to sleep when you've got cold feet so we weren't into that so I, I've kind of gone up a step with those so they are going to go into a bag all on their own your sleeping gear these are I find my, my stuff I sleep in my tent gear like if, if these are wet even we get to camp I'd put on these um, and the same with my t-shirt I don't think it will be but like I'll change into my sleeping gear they stay clean it kind of keeps you now this all went out the window on the last one we did but I want to keep we do have a new sleeping bag so I want to keep my sleeping bag as clean as I can uh, while we're away and just putting any kind of muddy gear into it I don't want to do that so again the stuff sacks I sit down Yeah, so that's the first thing. Then go to the bottom. Go to the bottom. The next thing I have clothes I wear. So I'm literally only bringing a spare top. It's kind of a vest top and shorts. I like you know hiking for a couple of days in the same t-shirt. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I might bring another light t-shirt with me. I don't think I will. We'll see. Um, and then that's all you really need. I'll have, if these get wet, I can change into the shorts. And if it's warm, I can have the shorts. I think the weather, fingers crossed, is supposed to be decent enough. Um, I have my jacket here. So this is, again, a good purchase for a little. It's a, it's a good warm jacket. I haven't actually tested this, to be honest with you. I haven't worn it yet. Um, but I like that it can stuff away. To be honest, I'll probably keep this out of its pocket. And just keep it near the top of my bag with the raincoat because there's that's kind of something you're, you're going to want to grab quite quickly so and this would just go on me over the fleece and i don't if it is you know kind of it's a good warm jacket uh, if it is colder during the day i might just have this to pop on and pop off i won't be taking on enough to slip the fleece so I'll probably just leave that near the top of the bag with my raincoat. A snood, my gloves are going to go at the top of the bag as well. I have good kind of again decathlon. Seven euro, I think I've got a child's. So I can go like a 14 child's so if they fit me. Uh, they're nice and tight as well. So I'm going to pop them at the, at the top of the bag. I have a little, you know, headband there for when my hair um, gets very hikey. <laughs> when I've been out for a couple of days. I've got a snood there as well um, and a hat and again that's usually when you're at camp at night time so then I'll just go in there and into the into the stuff, stuff sack. So back down there as well. These are uh, decathlon hiking socks. I found them great. I have a long pair on me for the boots, obviously. And um, I sit up here. I have long pair on me for the boots and then I have a smaller pair for when I have my runners, which are downstairs, I forgot them. But I'm bringing runners and hiking boots. I found the hiking boots were quite hard on my feet. when There's a lot of roads in different sections of the Wicklow Way, so I actually found it was easier. I found it was easier uh, when I was in my runners. I've had as much easier in the runners, so I have those. So they will go into that clothes bag as well. Now I'll pop again the Catalan towel. I love the Catalan. It is just a large microfiber towel. Some might deem it unnecessary. Uh, it is only three days after all, but I'll be honest, we will be dipping. You know, there's a lot of rivers and um nice waterfalls and stuff I think along this way from the videos I've seen so I am bringing that because if I'm dipping I definitely want to uh, have a towel with me so I've got them and then just washing your face in the morning and things like that and speaking speaking of swimming just togs and a top for the swims and then I'll just wear a sports bra every day probably I'm not too fussy. Uh, oh, so this is one of my hats. This was amazing when it rained. Um, I found it just so great for keeping your head dry. 
uh, when it was raining. I wore it the whole time. It was just great. It's like keeping that rain off your face, uh, off your back, your neck, and then off your head. It's so important. And it stayed waterproof the whole way through. So that kind of hangs on the outside of the bag. So again, I'll put that on at the end. Um, sit pad. Amazing little thing. Wish I can got it for two euro. Uh, and I can get them. I expect it to be a little bit bigger, but to be honest, you don't really need any more. Uh, again, great when the ground is wet. Uh, sit around having your dinner. Uh, it was just a small thing that actually brought a lot of comfort. That usually gets stuck in the side. It doesn't matter if it gets wet because you can just dry it off. That usually goes down the side of the bag. In there. Uh, where are we going next? Okay. So wash bag again because I have everything in here we need. So little things we have. These little guys. Uh, and we showed you on the Wicklow way. These little guys, you wet them and they bulk up and they're a little face wipes. So they're, I have found them brilliant. Um, you just add a little bit of water and then they come up. And then that's just SPF face cream. Obviously very important when you're out there. So I have some deodorant there, just a little bit of light deodorant, no, no spray. Um, don't need that. So some spare bobbins and bobby pins, a little bit of toothpaste toothbrush, nail file, and then just some bath and shower to wash our hands with a little bit of lotion. So probably some things that you don't really need to be honest with you and I suppose, uh, you know, you'd argue you don't really need all, all of that, it is in the same way, but there's something nice about being able to wash your hands properly and then put a little bit of lotion on for uh, a bit of a fresher smell when you're out um, in the wilderness for a few days. So that's going to go in as well. We'll just wrap that up a little bit and pop that down the side. So, new sleeping bag. Very excited about this. It is the, I don't even remember the name of it now. Ther it's a Thermarest. What, what is it? Oh, it is a Thermarest. It's a Thermarest Questar. Um, it's a comfort rating of zero degrees Celsius, uh, a limit of 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus six Celsius. Praying that it doesn't get anywhere near minus six, it shouldn't do, we're not given that, but this is um, something that I'm really delighted. I bought one for myself and mom because again, if you watch the Weekly Away videos, you will see the disaster that we had with sleeping bags. Just something that didn't occur to us and that's just shows how novice and how green we were because we got, we were freezing essentially. It, it got down to, we look back on, I think it was minus four. Like we didn't think it was as cold as it was in terms of, we thought it was maybe two or three degrees, but it was in the minus, it was frost on the ground some of the mornings. Um, and I had a sleeping bag with a comfort rating of 15 degrees Celsius. We'd no idea what mom's was because it came from Wish. <laughs> it was 30 euros or something. Um, so that was a huge learning experience. I just didn't, I don't think I just factored in how cold it would get in May up the mountains. But lessons were learned, so that's fine. Uh, anyway, what we do have with this, and I'm just gonna, again, it does, you can obviously get it right down. We just stuffed it in, guys. It's all in the stuff sacks. We wanna obviously compact this as much as we can, which is actually quite easy to do. So, perfect. What we did get as well with these though, are baby bags. So, they're gonna be a bit annoying, they're gonna be a little bit loud. We know those babies. I won't open it up now, but it's just a, essentially a foil bag. We're gonna get into them because if the down gets wet at all, it'll lose its insulative properties. What'd you say? Insulative, insulative, in, insulative properties. So we're going to keep that to make sure, just in case any condensation the inside of the tent and just brushing off, and just to be on the safe side, we're for investing in these, so those sleeping bags are about 250 euros. Uh, the baby bags, 20 quid, so it's just worth it. Um, I have my old sleep pad, so we still have our old sleeping mats. We didn't invest in a new sleeping mat, and this has, as we came home and then did all of our research on sleeping mats, this has like no ore rating, this again, a wish buy. Now it's fine, it has a pillow on it. I'll show it to you when we're out in Canon Butcher. You'll see it does have a pillow on it, but I actually found that really uncomfortable. So I switched it around so I sleep at the other end. 
Um, it's very light, it's only about 500 grams. The sleep, the sleep bag is 800. This is about five or just under five. And it'll do, it'll do for this time around, but it will be something I'll be in, investing in. Niall has invested in a new pad, a new quilt and a new pillow. So he's gonna be sleeping like a king on the trail. Mom is still going at her, the little one she said she found very comfortable. So we're good with those. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna head on with those. The Nature Hikes pillow. This again was about 15 euros um, on Wish, but it's Nature Hikes, brilliant. It's only, it's about 50 grams or, Okay, so that all goes in. So next thing is uh, oh, there, our tent. Not to put the water bladder in, but that's fine. Um, I'll pop it down. I'm probably gonna have to repack it anyway when I get the food in. So the water bladder is. Yeah, you, do, you can bring them or not bring them. I found it handy. I found it handy for actually making sure I did drink during, during the hike. Um, hang it off here and just keep sipping. Uh, good for when you want to uh, bulk carry water back to camp as well. Hopefully that happens in a second. So, uh, the tent we use is the Bango Nevis 200. It's a great tent because myself and mom obviously are, are both sleeping in it. We, I don't bring it in this bag. Uh, we're going to split the weight so she's going to take the poles and I'll take the actual tent. Now, I the poles she, she's going to take and the pegs. I changed the pegs. The peg, I didn't really like the pegs that came with it. Not that I have a huge amount of knowledge about tent pegs, but um, I did bend a couple of them when I was in the garden pitching it as a trial run. So I got these little guys. Uh, I've no idea what they are. They're light. I know that much. They're light in the other pegs and I found them really robust about that. All in all, the tent is about 1.8 kilos or two kilos, but we're able to spin it out so we're not carrying um, a huge amount of weight each. The other thing is ground mat, so or, um, a footprint. We use this as a tarp as well when it's raining, so we tied it up with dental floss to the trees, which was excellent to have our dinner under. So this also protected the tent from stones, um, an extra layer of water, or yes, yeah, waterproofness, I suppose. So yeah, I think again, that was like 20 euros. I'm not sure where I bought it. It's a gear top one, but I just thought it was brilliant. It's really light um, and great for sticking under. So again, we're gonna take, get rid of that bag and I'm gonna actually put the tent into its own little stuff sack. So this is kind of what we used before. So I'm just keep a little look on it. And it, it doesn't close, but it, it gets most of the way in. Because it doesn't, I want it to close down the top of it generally. Let's see if I can. No, but it's fine. It just means when it's in that I can have a little bit more maneuvering with it in the bag. Kind of put it sideways. And it goes in there. Yeah. There. Now I'll show you the cook, the cook kit now. We haven't gone for the lightest cook kit. This is again a little wish job. Um, we're having steak the first night like last time, so I am gonna bring the I'm gonna bring the pan with the baby it. And then we have our little kettle. Um because when we do cook different things in this, we do want to be able to boil water as well. So we'll do our porridge in here. The first night we're gonna do our we're gonna do smash again. So we'll do smash in this. Um but for the rest of the nights we do have lightweight. Uh, cooking or freeze dried meals, so we'll do those in the bag. So, it all in all comes about 600 grams, so it's not the lightest, it's not the heaviest, it's fine for us. We, we, I like the addition of the kettle, it's not necessary to have the kettle, I know, but I like the addition of it just because it was nice to not have to worry about washing the pot before we had tea after dinner. Um, so, yeah, anyway, so obviously, we're going to make some, uh, some use of the space we have here. Our little scrubber, just handy to, to have to wash out. You don't know how annoying it is when you're, you've got dry porridge and stuff into your pan and you haven't got a little scrubber. So, our stove was brilliant. Again, a decathlon stove. It's about 35 euros. Um, I found this excellent. You know, it was very, it has the, has the spark on the side of it. It was very, very, um, I suppose, resilient to wind. 
and yeah it's a light design it's about 80 grams 85 grams it says on the side so that's going to go into the kettle so pop that in there like that just to save on a bit of room we have knife again always just have a knife we only bring one of these each so it's not like we're, we're bringing loads with us but we have our just a good little knife crivet um handy to have if you're cutting anything or just you just need a knife and in there. so that goes in there as well put that back in and just a little thing of washing up liquid that we don't you know we're very sparse with that uh just if we have like food the pots do get very bad we didn't really use it the last time but it's just kind of kind of handy to have this as well so that all goes in there and uh like the pocket pot cleaning the dishes drying them handy as anything light as anything so that is going to go in there and then i'll probably just try and stick this so no one likes to hear this you know when you're walking so i generally try and shut the cloth in around it just to stop any movement any rattling sorry no one so i'll pop the lid on now obviously this is a very secure it's not very secure so i have I know they're elastic bands, so these are handy to have for I'm just it for spares. So I generally pop them up here. It just stops the lid moving and anything rattling any more than it should. So that's the cupware. That goes into this little bag. And close. Right. On top of that, obviously our gas, which we ran out of when we were on our five day one, but it's fine, we've got full in there, that'll do us. Um, I'm gonna pop this into the bag, one second. Our dishes, just for breakfast, and dinner on the first night, because the rest of the night we're in bags. And we got new spoons, Sea to Summit. Um, I think these are about 14 grams or something. Kind of wish we got the long handled ones now for the bags, but we'll make do, we'll figure something out. But yeah, they're sporks, they're great. Um, so we're just gonna pop them in this bag. We are, our cups, so our cups did change it. I'm just gonna bring, we have a spoon there as well, just for stirring tea and whatever, in case we're eating and we don't use our ones. These are the cups we brought the last time. So they were handy. But I just felt like there wasn't really much of a cup of tea in them or coffee. It was just, you know, it's very, oh, I don't know, I, I just, I was willing then to go and buy something a little bit heavier. So obviously that like weighs, I don't know, like maybe 20, 30 grams. This is about 100 grams. But to be honest with you, this is an insulative cup. So it actually keeps your coffee very warm uh, without going too hot on the outside. Uh, we're gonna bring a little bit of whiskey for some hot whiskeys in the evening time as well. So I just wanted to have a nice cup. Um, so I'm, I'm going with, the, you know, a little bit of luxury there. Uh, and this, every morning was doing my head in as well <laughs> fiddling around with this thing but yeah they're they're grand cups if i was really worried about being really pedantic about weight i would bring that instead but not this time uh so they'll all go in there and the cup and a couple of other things medication bag so here we have this was important the last day we've got sulfidine We've got a lot of brufen, ibuprofen because we all by the third day, fourth day last time we're taking ibuprofen when knees got sore, backs got sore. Um, so a kind of a good anti-inflammatory is necessary, I think. So it's beautiful bits. Again, we only bring one of these, but that goes in, that goes in at the top. That will go in here because that's something that we want to be able to grab handy enough. Anything that you want to be able to grab handy put in at the top. Uh, our blister bag, again, something that was incredibly important the last time. When I did, we got this moleskin, and I recommend it. It's brilliant stuff. It's light, doesn't barely weigh anything, but it's, it's um, a padded plaster. Really, really important. We have a few other things. Um, really just scissors and compedes, loads of compedes. I'm hoping my boots are going to be look better. My feet were very bad the, 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 the last time, but hoping that uh, we won't need this as much. But that goes in at the very top as well. That's going to be the top of the bag. Now, 
and I'll just pop them in here. Two things go on the outside of the bag, definitely. You know, a little shovel for digging your cat hole. Very important. And toilet paper, take out the middle of it. You know, you don't need that extra, extra bulk. So, and we'll probably put that down. Just try to do that there as well. And then two things we're gonna have handy. Midgey spray, because I imagine the midges are looking very bad and some protection because even if it is only 19 degrees of cloud probably going to put this on because we're going to be out all day so two things that again we keep pretty handy so we can grab them and they'll go down the sides here so different things so memory bank these are really good i got them off wish they're a little bit heavy but they're good they, they do do a great charge and Does have a light on it as well just couldn't figure out to work it there okay so that will go in there along with a couple of charging cables and the compass which does have its own little pouch here i'll put it on i think that light is on so we didn't we will bring a compass we have our map we have our map this time i did forget the map the last time and these will all go in this little bag here so i'm just going to hopefully yeah. all go off itself put the compass in there um head torch 25 gram head torch which i'm absolutely chuffed with so it has a few different settings it's as light as anything your red flash small light big light and then sos so because it's going to be quite dark here we are bringing a headlamp each because it will be you know we're going to be moseying around the dark for a couple of hours or into camp so that would go in there as well Probably should have put this at the bottom of the bag, mm, being a bit silly. That will go a bit lower, I think. A um, couple of little creature comforts. Had loads of these last time, I didn't bring them, and really should have. Just crack a couple of them, put them into the, into the sleeping bag, or even into your pockets at night time. But I think for the weight, they're a little bit of luxury. I'm going to go with them. And sorry, I did forget something here. Eye mask very important uh more important in the summer maybe not as bad now we will be up when it's dark but i'm still bringing it um just for a little bit of comfort and sleep vaseline super important for your feet uh we use but we use a couple of these the last time so just a little bit of petroleum jelly or vaseline or whatever you want rub on the feet um, morning, noon and night and just try and keep the blisters away a little bit and it's going to just pop it in the top there last but not least very important our water so we use the Sawyer Squeeze it's excellent uh, we can put this on top of another bottle as well I found that this is kind of hard unless the water is flowing fast this doesn't fill so just be aware uh, so if you're taking from any stagnant water it's a bit difficult but if you put this on top of another bottle it's fine, you can kind of with a harder plastic bottle, you can get a better squeeze on it. So I might just pop all these in here. This is gonna go on the outside of the bag because we need to grab and go that. Bring in some of these Oasis tablets as well, just as an emergency in case this breaks. So we will still be able to, um, we'll still be able to disinfect our water. So that goes on the outside of the bag as well. Let's go back in at the top. I'm actually just gonna, so these, would we'll always be stuffed, you know. We just I just need to leave them on top so I can just grab it quickly if I get cold or if it starts to um, pretend a taking break for lunch and stuff. That's a couple of bits on the top. Gloves. I'll put the water back in after. Generally, it's just hang this guy off here. That along there. And generally down in these pockets, I'll just keep a mask, tissues, my phone, but I'll probably keep my phone on me now. And just anything like snacks. Snacks will usually go in there as well. Bars, chocolate, of course. And then my sticks. So sticks will just go on the side for now, you know, and 
Let me just stick them here. But I will definitely probably use them quicker. So yeah, there she is. So I'm just gonna weigh. So it's about 10 kilos. So I'm actually quite happy with that. Uh, it'll probably come up to about 12 with food. So I will, there's stuff in here obviously that I have that we're all using. So we'll probably rotate that between us as well. So yeah, ready to go. Sleep blue and way, about 75 kilometers. Three, de three days and one morning and three nights. And I'll have videos of the hike up next week. So yeah, see you soon.